We have that a small pause in the beat in the instruments. The notes from Joy! What's up guys, welcome back, my name is Sean, and today we're going to be reacting to Joy's, Red Village Joy's, uh, other B-sides that we still haven't gotten into. There are three B-sides left. We have Day by Day, Happy Birthday to You, and Be There for You. So yeah guys, these are the ones that I think at least, I'm pretty sure that they don't have like an official live or an official music video. At least I couldn't find any on the um, official Red Velvet uh, channel. So uh, I'll be watching the uh, lyric videos uh, for these on the Hansa Creative channel. Now, I have not heard any of the originals of these songs. Maybe I have heard Happy Birthday to You if it is the, you know, the this song the happy birthday to you i'm not sure uh if it is or, or if it's just another song that's called uh the same thing but um i'm pretty much going into this uh completely blind i i think i've probably heard um the songs in the uh maybe in the um uh, like these songs in the highlight thing there was there were highlights put out when when the album thing came out but i was such a long time ago that i don't remember anything about it and i also didn't uh, uh, never watch the uh, prologues uh, so let's just get right into uh, the first one joys day by day all right joys day by day as i said i'm watching on the hansa creative channel i will link to uh, both the delivery video and the official audio in the description let's go <clears throat> Okay. Okay, I'm all already getting like almost Christmassy vibes. And let's see. That's a high note. She keeps, she keeps it at that high, that high note. That's crazy. Oh, oh even some harmonizing on top of herself. I'm guessing. Oh, oh, the beat coming in, and it's coming again. Okay. Okay, I like the. She was oh. like I love how she, she like the verse is just her with joy in like that really really bright note, and then she kind of brings it down a bit for the chorus, and really feels it. And the beat is good. The beat is really good. She goes down in her, her diva notes. That's nice. Mm, I'm back into those bright, clear notes. Very, very clear. That's so nice. Oh. Yeah, it definitely has that Christmas Christmas song vibe, at least for me. I wonder what the significance is of this song, uh, like, for Joy. Mm, mm. Like, the notes. Notes are hitting perfectly. Okay, we're getting into the... Uh, is that the bridge? Oh, I love how she... She just brought, like, brought it up that extra step. That's nice. That was a really good note. Oh! Oh, 
Oh wow! The, okay, the layers just in this part is crazy. So we have the ad lib. We have that a small pause in the beat, in the instruments. The notes from Joy. Love how she just seamlessly brings it in, like ad libs, like small additions to the song. It's so good. This is a, this is such a good song. Like, oh, like, damn the notes. <coughs> okay, I mean, listen, Joyce Day by Day. I, I as I said, I haven't heard the original of Day by Day, but man, did Joy blow it out of the park. I love. I love her vocals. Like Joyce's vocals throughout this song were absolutely amazing. Already from the beginning, where we where she just keeps it completely steady and stable uh, in the, in those really high, clear notes was was absolutely amazing. Then she gets into the chorus, brings it down to a bit of her deeper notes. While although Joyce's notes are very very high, uh, even though she even though she's doing uh, using her deep notes, and then right here at the end, like from like in the last third of this song like all that those small ad libs she adds and all these small like really good high notes she adds were, was absolutely amazing like it really shows joy is deserving of like a vocal spot right like she is a vocalist and she is absolutely amazing let's move on to the next one happy birthday to you the one which i may know the lyrics of but i'm not completely sure I, it would be uh yeah well let's see if it's the one i'm thinking of uh and let's get right let's get right into it all right joyce happy birthday to you let's go see if it's the usual happy birthday song it doesn't sound like it but they do change the instrumentals Okay, it's not the one I was thinking about. I was thinking, you know, which one I was thinking about, right? The, the one you typically sing at, like, a birthday. Maybe that's not even called Happy Birthday to you, but... I mean, rain is a day. is not a good thing, right? If it's someone's birthday. Oh! I'm, I'm kind of imagining her just it makes sense with like the uh, with the lyrics I'm imagining her just walking down like like a, a main street or something like browsing the stores oh oh I love how much this album changes up in the vibes of the songs oh Oh. oh okay like the beat is the beat is very interesting in this one like this is like an everyday song this is a song even though it's a birthday song it sounds like a song you'll s sing every day right a very good commuting song oh Joyce, Joyce's voice is perfect for those kind of ad libs. Oh, instruments popping off. Okay, love that. Oh, that's interesting. Having that like old, like old times effect, like a um, LP effect. of a change up right then <clears throat> choice vocals mm. super clear at the end as well such a heavy song like 
fits super well with her voice. This happiness, this really, this sweetness that that is conveyed in this song. Okay, that's uh, that's the title right at the end. Interesting song. I was I was not aware that this song. Well, it's obviously a Korean song, so uh, that it makes sense that I was not uh, too aware of this. A another Happy Birthday to You song existing. I thought it was, as I've said many times now, just the the typical uh, one you'll you'd sing at a birthday. But I really really enjoyed this song. I love the. I really really enjoyed the instrumentals for, first of all, and I know they they change up the instrumentals quite a bit because they are remakes uh, of the of the originals. And Joy's voice just fits. It's this this type of music she just fits super super well it's the same almost like yeah well the, her low was a bit more upbeat but it's still the same kind of feel like it's a very good uh, commute song and, and it's just her voice fits amazingly well with these happy happy sounding songs with these happy tones it's super nice to listen to and it's something i would listen to uh on the daily even though it's obviously a song that's not supposed to be listened to on the daily but when it's my birthday, I'll listen to this song, okay? That's, uh, I'll listen to this a lot on my birthday. But let's move on to uh, the last one, Be There For You. All right, Joyce, Be There For You. Let's uh, go. Obviously, this picture from uh, from the MV, I, I think. Or oh, maybe not. Oh, completely different vibe once again. The like, tone of this song is completely different. Wow, I love this. Almost like, like the the background, like the the instrumentals sound like something that could be in like Animal Crossing or something. Like this very, just pleasing sound. Hello. <clears throat> like I'm trying to put I'm trying to put this song into a specific situation, but I really can't think of any. It's just a really, really nice song. It's such a, a nice, pleasing song to listen to. Almost like uh, something for a study playlist, because it's just so down to earth. So relaxing, right? Oh, and the, um, is that like the, uh, hum or what, what's it called in English? Harmonica? That's, uh, that's what it's called, uh, called in Danish at least, harmonica, but... Like the mm -hmm thing. Like, it sounds like, it sounds like, as I said, Animal Cro- Oh, like a po Pokemon song, like it's something that would be in the background of a city, like an outskirts city in, in one of the Pokemon games. That's what I'm getting. And still that that happy happy voice from Joy like that. I am Joy to you. That's that's nice. I love how far Joy has come with her voice. Like this is absolutely amazing. I really really enjoy these songs. Also fit into like an anime or something. Oh! Oh, I love how distinct her voice is. Like, 
I don't know who's making the effects. Maybe that's Joy too. Sounds like it's someone else, but like the um the harmonizing. But Joy's voice is so distinct. It's so unique, and I love it. I absolutely love her voice. Super, super bright and nasal uh, voice she has. the end damn I, i'm honestly sad that this is the last song from this album because man i've really been enjoying this album all of these songs are just uh, like i think joy chose these songs herself right and and i don't know typically you'd want someone else to choose something that is the best for you but but the fact that joy chose these songs and and it they are all all the six songs i think they're on this album yeah six songs i just perfect matches for for joy i feel like every single uh song from this album even though they're all super super different they've just matched um, and meshed with joy on, on a completely another level like be there for you super super nice another really really relaxing song i also feel like happy birthday to you was pretty relaxing it's one of those commute uh songs this one was more of like you know you just it's just a quiet sunday quiet saturday you're just on on a, like in your room you're just need to listen to some music and this is the kind of music you put on right this really relaxing nice uh music that that has come from from joyce be there for you I, as i said i don't know the original so i don't even know how much it has changed from uh the original but an absolutely amazing joy uh, amazing joy amazing job uh, from joy once again but yeah guys that was joyce day by day happy birthday to you and be there for you absolutely amazing b-sides from uh, from this hello uh, remake special album uh, that the, the joy has uh, had it's it's a such a nice uh, solo debut i guess you could call it it is a solo debut and and i feel like just all the members have have been have hit spot on with with their with the solo debuts now we only have uh, yeti left uh with with for her uh, solo debut which hopefully uh, will come at some point i've really been enjoying all of this album I've, as i said every single song from this album is absolutely amazing and they all really really mesh well with joy and kind of kind of you know, show what kind of person Joy is, especially because she's the one who chose these songs. And all of these songs are such, you know, such happy songs. They, they even though it may be, it may be an underlying heaviness in these songs, they all have this really wonderful tone when you listen to it. It's really just an album when you listen to it. You, you're, you're going to be, you're going to feel happy after listening. And it's just an absolutely amazing feeling have, having to listen to these uh, b-sides and i'm so so happy i got into red velvet at the time that i did because i get to enjoy these uh solos from from the different members uh, as they come out obviously irene and sulky already came out before i joined uh began my red velvet journey but man i've really been enjoying this but yeah, anyways, guys, please let me know what you guys thought about Red Devil Joyce uh, day by day. Happy birthday to you and be there for you down in the comments below. And I guess I'll see you guys next time. <laughs>